And good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to some Dragon Quest IX. Thank you for uh, deciding to watch this. I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, right, so what we've done last time is we've sorted out the whole White Knight... Sorry, Right Knight business. My bad. And we need to head back to Stornway to get our reward. And I want to thank those who reminded me that, yes, I can actually get back there very, very easily if I use the goddamn... Chimera wings that we've been collecting quite a few of we got five of the bastards So it really doesn't make any sense not to use them does it so let's teleport back to Stornway Mage flings a Chimera wing And yes, so these will have to do until we eventually learn the zoom spell which I'm sure will happen uh, Let me grab the shinies again before we go inside even though Still not really sure what I'm going to use this coagulant for. It's got to be useful in some recipe. But yes, back to Stornway. Let's go get our reward from the princess. Oh, can we not go in there at night time? God damn it. Alright guys, well I'll meet you back here when it's daytime. I'm just gonna go rest at the inn, I suppose. Okay, it's daytime. Let's go inside the castle. It's actually a good job I rested at the inn because I'd completely forgotten I had not healed since the uh, the whole uh, Brigadoom place, so I was kind of... Let's just say I needed it, so... Yay, and we are back. Hello, princess. Hello, Simona. I'm in a lot of trouble with father for sneaking off to the castle without telling anyone. He and mother both cried with relief when they saw I was back safely, though. So I suppose it's... I, I'm lucky, really. You've done so much for us, mage. I really can't thank you enough. We'll never forget about you, even when you're far away on your travels. Wait. Wait, I'm supposed to get a reward. Wait a minute. Do I need to talk to the king? Oh, oh, thank God. I thought I came all the way here for nothing. Ah, it's you, mage. Good to see you, laddie. Simona's told me everything. Sounds like that white knight was having a tough old time of it. I feel a wee bit guilty in hindsight. I know he's supposed to have a Scottish accent, but we all know I can't do that, so... Uh, still, all's well that it uh, ends well. Uh, you did a bra... a... a bra... sorry, a bra job. Uh, I'm impressed, laddie. Aye, and you had, uh, you, you more than deserved that reward, I promised. Ah, the treasure chamber. Okie dokie. I will loot the place dry. Just climb the stairs behind the throne and go outside. East from there, you'll see the treasure chamber. Crivens, I almost forgot. I've opened up the eastern checkpoint again. I, uh, it was closed while uh, all that stramash. I'm learning all sorts of words today. I, well, I've... I've I've no idea what that means, but... Uh, there's a big town beyond. The checkpoint could be an interesting place for you to visit on your travels. Aye, well. I guess I'll be off then. I hope you have a safe journey. And maybe you'll stop in Stornway again sometime. You'll always be welcome here, mage. And friends. Yay, what if we talk to the Queen? Mage without you? Oh, don't worry, these are happy tears. And it's thanks to you that the three of us can live in peace again. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's fine, it's all in a day's work for a Celestrian and friends who have no particular special abilities or anything resembling a personality. It's okay, it's fine. All right, let's get our treasure. Ooh, look at all this treasure. Ooh, and two blue chests. Okay, which are just going to be full of generic stuff. Magic water. Now that is something we need for that quest we have. For the dude who I don't remember where he is, but we will check the menu. A thousand gold coins. Dude, we are rolling in the money. Uh, a file of aggressance. Aggressance. <laughs> what the hell does aggressance do? I'm, it must be something to do with attack power. Is it an everyday item? Or is it gone? 
Aggress uh, aggressance. Um, oh no, it's for alchemy. All right. You can sell it for 750 gold. But we're not going to do that. Right, what have we got? What's the what's in the big important chest? It's actually the same size as the other ones, but it's on its own pedestal. Ooh, a gold rosary. A gold rosary. Who wants to equip that bad boy? I don't know. Let's see what it does, first of all. Oh, it's magical mending. Right, well, that is going to go to Mariella. Is it not? Yes, it certainly is. Because she doesn't even have an accessory, so there you go. And a bit more defense as well. Well, that was a very nice reward. I'm pretty chuffed to bits for that. And we can also return and open those blue chests some other time as well. And uh, I guess all that remains now is to hand in this quest, wherever it is. Let me check the uh, battle records. The White Knights at rest and the King's happy as Harry. If that doesn't bring in the benevolence, I don't know what will. Right, so let's check the que uh, check the quest list. Do 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 do. An old man in Stornway Castle wants you to bring him some magic water. Oh, he's in Stornway Castle. Well, that's exactly where we are. How magnificent! Now we just need to find him. Where could he be? This could take a little bit of skadoodling. We don't remember who it was. Uh, we'll just run around like a like a nutter until we find him. Ah, was it not one of these guys in the library? Was it not one of you guys? Sorry, uh, oh no. No, you're talking about the checkpoint. I know where the checkpoint is. Ah, it was this guy. Ianan, yes. Well, if I'm not mistaken, that's some magic water you've got there. Hand it over, then. Uh, yes, I will. Thanks ever so much, youngster. Now, if we just mix the magic water with a little of my secret formula. And apparently he's doing that right now. There we go. And now, if we just sprinkle a little of it over the page. Oh, yes. That's the ticket. The ink's all gone, and now we can see what it says underneath. Wonderful. Now, let's see what this ancient tome has to tell us about the history of Stornway, shall we? Hmm, look at this. It's an illustration of an old coin. There's the coat of arms of Stornway, and here is, well, I never. Fascinating. Yes, this is uh, very interesting indeed. Oh, here you go, by the way. This is for your trouble. You're not going to tell us what it is? Ooh, see the magic, though. Nice. Nice. Another quest done, even though we didn't actually learn. This design is from a coin of good of a good three centuries old. And it's decorated with the crest of Stormway, and that's of another kingdom that I don't recognize. Probably Brigadoon. Yes. I don't understand. If such an ally existed, why are there no records of them? Hmm. Well, there you go. So, apart, well, we don't have any current quests, do we? I bet you there's some around somewhere that we've not accepted yet. There must be. Oh, we have a cutscene. Hello, Stella! Nice one, mage. Looks like everyone here thinks you are a flea at the flea's knees. <laughs> you do say some weird things, Stella. Benevolence, as far as the eye can see, I don't see shit. I forgot you can't see it. What a flapping idiot. I'm sure the Almighty will notice that we've been up, uh, what we've been up to now anyway. We'll be back in the observatory in no time, you'll see. We best flat foot it back to the Starflight Express then, ready to rumble and roll, mage. Rock and roll. Uh, <laughs> yes. Next stop, the Starflight Express. So, it looks like we're going to have to head back there first, and probably find out that we can't actually do anything with it. Uh, oh, hello. You have a quest. I travelled a long way to come to Stornway to get some panacea. I'm sure I'll be able to find uh, an alchemist who can make some in a kingdom as big as this. 
Heard talk of there being an alchemy pot over at the inn. Maybe I'll ask around there first. Oh! An alchemy pot near the inn, you say? What the hell? Let's have a gander. Do, 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 do. My voice keeps breaking. I think it's because I've only just woken up. Uh, hold my hi, mage. Welcome back. Everyone's talking about how the wandering minstrel mage saved Stornway. You should hear them. You've become quite the celebrity, I must say. I'm getting quite a lot of attention just because I'm friends with you. Oh yes, before I forget, I found this when I was cleaning out the cellar. Oh baby, yes! The alchemy pot looks freaking spiffy. It's a pot for doing alchemy in, apparently. It's uh, impoverished. Oh, sorry, apparently an impoverished alchemist left it to uh, pay off his bill ages ago. Not sure how you uh, use it, but it's a nice looking old thing, so I thought I'd uh, pop it up here to brighten the place up a bit. Oh yes, very tasteful. It's beautifully made as well. Yep, got a good feeling about this old thing. Can I have it, please? Or do I have to just constantly visit here to use it? What? Uh, is the pot actually talking to us? Oh, okay then, yeah. You're able to hear my dulcet tones, it seems. How fortunate for you. Meet the master of metamorphosis, the magical monarch of mutation, the tin pot king of alchemy himself, Crackpot. <laughs> Uh, alchemy, my boy. It's the ancient art of mixing items together to create something that exceeds the sum of its parts. And I offer this splendid service at little or no cost. No, no, thank me later. That is, uh, you, you, you want, you do want to use me, I take it? Yes. You do? Excellent. Oh, uh, uh not, I had any, any doubt you would say yes, of course. You're clearly aching to get alchemizing. Oh, you have no idea. Which means it's high time we started cooking something up. But uh, I must give you the first, uh, you, you this first naturally. The alka, alkonomic, uh, the alkonomic, just like the necronomic. Oh my god, that's great. He learns the recipes for strong medicine, special medicine, and superior medicine. He also learns the recipes for strong antidotes, soft wart. The alkonomicon is now accessible from the battle records menu. Uh, it's an indispensable tome that allows the alchemist to record and replicate recipes for oodles of exciting items. You only have a meager repertoire of recipes at the moment, but scour the bookshelves of the world and that will soon change. Therein lie the true treasures of alchemy, the juicy secrets of the occult art. But we mustn't let ourselves get carried away, no no, even the most eminent alchemist started from humble beginnings. So the first item on the agenda is to select your method of alchemy. If I may, I would recommend alchemizing from a recipe. So can you choose from a recipe or just try your luck? Ah. So you don't need to find the recipes in order to make stuff. But obviously it helps. So let's try uh, a recipe. Let's see if we can make... Oh, it's the same music from Dragon Quest VIII too. That's awesome. Uh, let's try making... We'll make a strong medicine out of the medicinal herb. Because we've got tons of them. Oh, and you can choose how many to make as well. That's epic. We'll make three. Um, how, does, it, does it do it instantly? Oh, it does! Oh, well, that's way better than the one in eight. Although I know they changed the Alchemy Pot in 8 in the DS, uh, 3DS version, but in the PS2 version, it, you have to like run around for ages. That's excellent. Quality of life improvement right there. Uh, so, I'm pretty chuffed with that. We'll make... Um, well, we can't really make anything else right now, can we? We could try our luck, but I really have no clue what will make stuff right now, so we'll leave it for a little bit. Maybe I'll do some research, and I'm sure you guys will be letting me know of some useful uh, recipes I can use. So please do comment below if you are in possession of such knowledge. Also, I did chat to this guy off screen. He's basically just to do with the multiplayer stuff, so I'm going to ignore him. But at first, I was like, oh my god, it's an angel. 
But no, it's nothing. It's nothing too exciting. Wait, what do I do? What do you do? Oh, it's the bank. So if we die, I guess we lose money, but we can put our money away here for safekeeping. Okay, I could do that, but I'm actually going to wait. I don't think I'm going to be dying anytime soon. <laughs> Famous last words, am I right? So, let's head uh, out of Stornway for now. So, wait a minute, what was the dude's... What did you want again? <laughs> yeah, I've... Uh, oh, the name's Bill, eh? Came to Stormway in search of the panacea, so I guess we just have to make a panacea. Um, you'll give me a Gleban guinea in return? Alright, well, we'll accept the quest. Ah, he knows the recipe! Oh, well, that's okay, then. Let's see if we can make it. Yeah, let's see if we can make it before we leave town. I love this music in the inn. I love it. Ah, welcome back, my boy. So, shall we get cracking? Uh, see what you did there. I see what you did there. Right, use a recipe. Items. Panacea. Can we make one? Ooh, we need special medicine and superior medicine. Alright, well, we can make the special. That's easy. Use some of our strong medicine. Just make the one, thanks. Yeah, this alchemy pot's so much better than the original Dragon Quest VIII one. Uh, right. And special... What was it? Superior medicine. Perfect. Just the one again, thanks. Yep. No idea what this Gleban Guinea is, though. Doot doot. Major Quiz of Superior Medicine. And we've already got the Moonwalk Bulbs, so there we go. Haha! -ha. Right, that will do for now, Mr. Pot. Right, Mr. Bill. I have what you need. Oh, is that what I think it is, the panacea I've been waiting for? So you managed to make some. Will you swap it for a Gleban guinea, like we agreed? Yes. Thanks ever so much. This will be a huge help, that's for sure. Uh, Mage receives a Gleban guinea. Maybe that's not quite enough considering all you've done. I know, here, have a look at my favorite recipe book. Oh, hell yeah. On trend accessories you can alchemize at home. <laughs> Strength ring, slime earrings, and a bow tie. Agility ring, prayer ring, life ring, holy crap. That's a good number of recipes right there. I like the sound of the strength ring. Might be uh, nice for Olivia, perhaps, but um, let's go see what we need to make those. I'm guessing we might not have the ingredients just yet. Doodle -doo -doo -doo. Let's have a look. Come up with a new recipe. Accessories. Strength ring. Oh, we need our gold ring, which we do have equipped. And the aggress... aggress... aggressance? <laughs> okay, so we could make that. But for now, I'm not going to bother. Yeah, it looks like the gold ring's used in quite a few. So hopefully we can find some more of those. Uh, okay, cool. Life ring. Reserock. Sage's Elixir. Yeah, we don't really have 
any of those materials just yet, but in time, I'm sure we will. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Doo -ba -doo -doo -doo. Right, let's go back to the Starflight Express, and I guess I'll just meet you back there unless something happens on the way. I don't think it will, though, will it? No, probably not. And I might get into a few more fights on the way just to get a bit more XP. So I will see you back at the Starflight Express. Okie dokie, we are back. Or pretty much as close as we possibly could get. I wasn't sure if there'd be another cutscene, so... Just to be on the safe side, started recording. As soon as we entered, and here we are. Hang on a minute. The Starflight Express looks exactly the flapping same. Well, I was sure we'd given it a new release of life by now. If the Almighty had noticed our good deed and work, uh, all our good work and decided to help out, it'd be all glowing. I can't have got the wrong end of the gear stick on this one, can I? That's not a good voice for it, I know. Uh, no, of course not. What am I saying? Come on, I'm sure it'll perk up once we get inside. <laughs> That's what she said. Right. It looks, uh, doesn't look good. I don't believe it. It looks all exactly the flapping same. And after we went to all that trouble, has the Almighty decided to turn a blind ear? <laughs> A blind ear on us or something? Yikes! Look, look at her! What the fuck is she doing? What was that? The whole thing moved when you came in just then. Did it? When you came in. That's it, that's it, mage. The benevolence you got from helping that night has given you back some of your celestial powers. Has it? It looks like my first instinct didn't sink, didn't, uh, my first instinct didn't stink after all. Okay, I do struggle to read this sometimes, as I'm sure you are aware by now. The Starflight will fly if she has a Celestrian on board. But first, you need to help people so you can get your powers back. Get back all your powers and then we'll have the old girl flying like a dream again. I knew it wouldn't work. We'd better flatfoot it over to that town beyond the checkpoint. I bet it's cram-packed with people in need of our help. Woohoo! There's hope at last. Time to disembark on a mission of mortal mercy. Yeah, I, I knew this was going to be a waste of time. Now we have to go all the way back. God damn it, Stella. Nothing happened. See? I knew it. I knew it. Alright, well, I'll meet you back at the checkpoint then, I suppose. Okay. We're very, very close to the checkpoint. And yep, the guard is gone, so we can just head on through. Oh no, he's there, sorry. I didn't realize. Yeah, here we go. Now that the stromash with the White Knight's over, we're allowed to let folk through the checkpoints again. The monsters up ahead are a good deal stronger though, so mind how you go. Well, thanks for the warning. Oh look, it's Rab again. I'm on my way back from uh, Coffinwell up in the north. I went... Went there thinking I might be able to sell a few wares. The place was in a terrible state though. I got myself out of there as fast as my feet could carry me, I can tell you. If you're headed north, I advise you to be very, very careful up there. Oh. Okay, then. Can we go in here? Yes, we can. In the guardhouse. There better be something in this barrel. Alright, two gold coins. Oh, wow. Oh, this dude has a quest, though. Hey, you you just come from Stornway, haven't you? <clears throat> I really need to get my hands on a wing of bats. Apparently, the Drac mages over the, uh, near Zia drop them all the time. There's no great rush or anything, but do you think you could bring me one next time you're passing? Please? Please? You received a quest request. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Sounds simple enough. Better introduce myself. I'm Romeo. I work as a guard here. Thing is, it's all the rage with the girls at the moment to add a bit of pizzazz to an outfit with a wing of bat. So my girlfriend's been pestering me to get hold of one for her. Girls can be so demanding sometimes. Is she called Juliet by any chance? Anyway, if you can get one for me, I'll be able to escape an ear bending. Alright then. Wings of love. We can do that. In fact, you know what? Should we go do that now? Get out of the way. Wait, do we even have a wing of bat? I know I have killed some drac mages, but did we find one? 
Doesn't look like it. No, we don't. What is the... What is this? Oh, it's just a coin we can sell. It's like the Brazilian shillings from Eleven. Alright, 500 gold if we sell that bad boy. Not bad at all. And yeah, maybe I should use the Seed of Magic. But I'm kind of hesitant, especially if they don't carry over in between classes. I don't know. We'll, we'll save it for now. But yeah, I might go uh, find myself a couple of Drac Mages and see if I can get myself a Wing of Bat. So there's probably no point showing that because we've seen the Drac Mages before. So I will be right back. Oh my god. Guys, you have no idea how long I have spent killing Drac Mages and no Wing of Bat has dropped. I mean, I couldn't even find any Drac Mages near Zia. So I had to go all the way to, uh, back to Brigadoom and go in that dungeon again, because that's where I knew I'd fought some. But I don't know if those don't drop Wing of Bats. I managed to get a Chimera Wing, but nothing else. And I have spent a good long time. As you can see now, we are, <laughs> we are considerably <laughs> higher level than we were. Mage has grown two levels. I know uh, Olivia has as well. Ricardo and Mariella are level 12 now. They're pretty close to leveling again, I'm pretty sure. So we have a bunch of new skill points to spend. We haven't learned any new abilities, so at least it wasn't a waste of time. It just, it's annoying, because now I i don't think I'm going to be able to do that quest. <laughs> Until I find, I don't know, I'm just going to come across one randomly, I guess. But we are back in Stornway because I think if we head into the armor shop, apparently there is a quest we can do for the the dude, you know, his his girlfriend. I think this is her. You're a traveler, aren't you? I don't suppose you're heading in the direction of Zia. Well, no, but I know for a fact I have an even cloth or an even cloth. So this is what she wants uh, in order to uh, to for the quest, you know. So we should be able to just hand it over. And yes, her name is Julia. I did guess that it'd be Juliet, but Julia's the pretty damn close. So, yes, she's trying to make herself look a bit of a temptress, you see, in a, an outfit made of uh, Evancloth will really help me on my way. My boyfriend, Romeo, works at the checkpoint. When he sees my new outfit, he'll love me all the more. So, yeah, this is the other <laughs> side of the quest, if you will. Unfortunately, yeah, it's going to take me a while to find a wing of bat, but we can definitely hand over the item she wants. I don't know what reward we're going to get for it. <laughs> Romeo won't be able to take his eyes off me. Oh yes, I promised I'd give you something in return, didn't I? Here you are. A pretty Betsy. Wow, thanks. So yeah, I could not find any Drac Mages near the village of Zia. Alright, and I, I looked it up online and it says, yeah, they appear there, but I couldn't find one at all. So at least I knew where I could find some, it's just they weren't dropping what I needed at all. And I must have fought about 30 of the bastards. So at least we got some XP out of it. You know, I'm not going to cry too much over it. We'll we'll get it done eventually. Um, oh, but you know what we could do now that we're back in Stornway? I kind of want to get a spear for uh, Mariella. And didn't they sell them here? And we've got so much money now, by the way. We've got freaking over 8,000 gold. So I am going to buy an Iron Lance for my healer. Because I just think that'd be a cool thing to do. And uh, Mariella doing more damage. Because usually she's not healing all the time. You know, she's physically attacking a hell of a lot. So why the fuck not? There we go. So she's got a spear on her back now looking badass. I don't know if I want to give um, Ricardo a different weapon either. Maybe a dagger? A divine dagger. Zealously zap zombies. Now, can he even equip that? I do believe he can. So, it's only 604. We've got so much money. I'm just going to buy it. I know I've spent uh, a bit of time, a bit of like skill points into his wand, I think, but. I just, 
I think it's it's better. It's it's gonna be done. It's gotta be done. So again, we've uh, we still got tons of money, and hopefully battles will be a little bit easier for us now. We're all gonna be doing a decent amount of damage physically. But yeah, Wing of Bat is gonna have to wait. I'm afraid that's such a pain in the ass. I just, I just wasn't getting them, and the only thing it dropped was a Chimera Wing. So anyway, I'm gonna rest at the end, guys, and then I'll meet you back at the checkpoint. And we're back at the checkpoint. Okay, my God, you know what? I didn't, I did not expect this session to go on for as long as it has. I mean, recording-wise, it's no longer than usual, but I have spent so long off screen. Doing so much fighting. But we're finally in a new area. And it's looking very autumn-y. Very, uh, very nice. Lovely golden oranges, greens. Very nice. Ooh, new enemy. Here we go. Get to try out our new weapons as well. What the hell is that? A chariot chappy? That's amazing. Oh my god, that's amazing. How is he not, like, rolling towards us, though? <laughs> anyway. Right, so, yep, yeah, mage attack. Everyone just physically attack. I want to see how much we can do. Okay, still not much more with Ricardo, really. Oh, well. Not bad XP, but we really... We probably don't need it. Oh, an angel bell? Okay, I'll take that. That might be rare. Who knows? Oh, probably not as rare as the fucking wing of bats, though. Jesus. I thought that'd be such a common item to find from him, but no. Oh, we've got some cu uh, cuckoos. I think it's a cuckoos, it's because I've been playing a certain other game off screen. Or off the channel, if you know what I mean. Uh, right, let's just attack. Really want to see how much damage Marielle can do with a spear, but these things have probably got a good defense. So it might not be a good indication. And Okay. Yeah, they are. They are metal, so maybe the metal slash would have been good to use. I reckon that might have been a good idea. Ouch! Holy crap. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Right, we'll do a metal slash on you on the right and try and finish off the dude on the left. Yay! Go on. Okay, 13 damage. Not really much better, I guess. Maybe Metal Slash is only really good against Metal Slimes, which I hope we encounter soon, because they're always nice to try and kill. Try being the key word. Oh yeah, nice XP again. And money-wise, oh my god, we really don't need to worry about money. For a long time. Ooh, what are you? I love coming across all these new enemies. Leafy Larrikins, was that? Yeah. Okay then. Guessing fire is the good, it's a good way to go. But let me know, guys, if you've struggled to get the goddamn wings of bat as well, because they just weren't dropping. Ooh, coup de gras. I don't think we've seen Mage's Coup de Gras yet, have we? I wonder what it does. Rough and Tumble, increase evasion and counterattack frequency a lot. Uh, now nah, we'll save that. In fact, can we carry that over? I don't know if we can carry that over to another fight. Uh, let's test that out, shall we? I don't know if we can or not. Glulu. Da, 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 da. And Mariella is level 13. No new skill points, though. That's annoying. But we do have three to spend. Now, do I start putting them into spears? Or do I carry on with faith? Do I keep the faith? Because the natural magical mending would be nice, but also having some spear abilities would be cool, too. My god, seriously? It takes 58 skill points to get Thunder Thrust? Holy balls. 88 for multi-thrust? Damn, son. Mercurial thrust would be nice. We could oh, we could get that with our three points. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, I'm going to do it. Confirm. Yes. Yay. Right, we'll 
try that out next fight we get. Which is this one. Ooh. And two new enemies here. What have we got? A slugger and a lost soul. Okay then, let's attack you. Uh, Mariella, try Mercurial Thrust on that guy. And... Oh yeah, we've not tried the bank spell yet. That's going to attack everything. Oh, he can increase the other enemy's tension, can he? Crafty devil. Alright, well we've actually killed most of the enemies here. So the bank spell ain't going to do as much, but... Oh no, that's actually okay. I forgot we hadn't killed him. Alright. Yep, yeah, bank spell, very nice. Definitely our best spell so far. And it's nice using a few more different abilities now as well. Alright, so... We could have head headed left into a foresty area. Looks like we've got another checkpoint to the left as well, but there is obviously the village on the way, or town. But we've heard a few bad things about it. Uh, anything over here, sparkly-wise? No? Oh god, another chariot dude. Okay. This one is lonesome. Might need to do some healing after this fight. Yeah, it really was kind of pointless giving Ricardo that dagger, because he ain't doing much more damage with it at all. But he has just leveled, which is nice, and... Does he learn anything? Yes, he's learned the Safe Passage spell, which I'm guessing is going to reduce the encounter rate, is it not? Or the... I don't know, the rate that enemies appear. Uh, yeah, I've, I put a couple of things into his wand. Do I bother with knives? Do I really bother with knives? I don't know. I think I'm just going to stick with Spellcraft for now. There we go. <clears throat> right, let's just head to that... Let's get to that town. Leave me alone! Oh, you little sod. Ah, it's just the one of them, though. Oh, come on, Olivia. Don't be missing. Oh, what few dropped? A moonwalk bulb, okay. Alright, some more fields. Ooh, being chased by chariots. Again, we have a big area to the right there. I bet there's something over that way. Oh, will you sod off? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna show any more of these fights. But I do want to. I do want to have a look over to this uh, eastern area. There we go. Yeah, let's have a look over here. But first, I'm just gonna get some healing done. So I'm pretty I'm pretty happy actually with the levels we are right now, and I would not be this powerful. I would not have done all that. Ooh, hello. I would not have done all that grinding if I wasn't trying to get that item. So it's worked out okay. What do we have here? A Morphean mushroom. Should go down pretty easily. Yes. Oh, what's he dropped? Oh, another bell cap. Alright, what do we have over here? There must be a sparkly thing or something we can harvest. Oh, bugger off, I'm trying to find stuff. Ah, now, uh, during this fight, which I wasn't going to show, they called for backup and they summoned... a Badger Major. <laughs> so... New enemy, gotta show it. Gotta do it. Let's just attack, just kill him. I think they're nearly dead. Alright, four damage with the knife there, that's a little bit better. 
Still rubbish. <laughs> Still utter shit, but you know. Oh, do we have a coup de grace with uh, Mariella? Yes, we do. That's just healing stuff. We don't really need that. And I'm guessing coup de grace doesn't actually carry over, does it? So maybe I should have used it. Oh well, never mind. That is good XP. Do, 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 do. There really is nothing over here that must be. Oh, yeah, there is. No, we found some sparklies. Okay. And just the one leafy, so we'll kill him dead quick. Let's see what we can find here. Hopefully, some good items. There we go. Right, what have we got under the tree? The big old tree. Oh, superior medicine. Oh, dude, yeah. I reckon it was worth the trip. There's something over here, too. Just another field, is it? Okay, just another field. Leave me alone! It's so hard to dodge things. I really am loving that bang spell, though. That is really good. Oh, and we've dropped... Uh, oh, another Chimera Wing. Okay, well, they are useful, at least. So, we're going to head back to the beaten path. Hopefully avoiding encounters, because I don't need them right now. Don't need that shit. Let's see what is in store for us in this new town. Which, what was it called? Coffin something? Apparently it's a big town. Okay, so far it doesn't look like anything's out of the ordinary. I don't mean to speak out of turn, but I'd keep away from this place if I were you. Coff Coffinwell. Coffinwell's days are numbered. You mark my words. If you don't want to perish along with the rest of us, be on your way. Uh, well, now I'm intrigued. Now I'm gonna have to go explore. You're not doing a very good job of keeping people away by not telling them what the hell's going on. If you want to know what's going on here in Coffinwell, you should go and have a word with the mayor. Mayor Laria lives in the mansion up on the high bit of the back of the town. You can't miss it. Okay. Uh, I'd like to stay at the inn first, though. Rab's, Rab's here. He gets around, doesn't he, Rab? Oh, and a bunny lady. We're on holiday here, but my wife's fallen ill. Oh, no. If only we'd go, uh, gone to Angel Falls for our honeymoon instead. Yeah, you would have been fine at Angel Falls. I hear it's got an amazing guardian. Or it did have. Uh, uh, I've never been ill in my life until now. <coughs> oh shit. Hope we don't catch whatever it is. Welcome to our inn, Wheelie, uh, Wheelie, Wheelie Travelers. You must be exhausted at this late hour. There are four of you in need of a bed, is that correct? 20 gold coins. Yes. Do, do, do. Uh, right then, let's just search the rest of the inn. See if we can find any recipe books. Nope, nothing of interest. Oh, I did search that cabinet, didn't I? I have such a terrible memory. I bet I did that like two seconds ago. Nothing in that either. Well, isn't that just a disappointment? Let's try the second floor. Oh! Up on the roof! Oh, we got a locked door. Still not sure when we can open those. But I bet yet there's something amazing behind it. Oh, hello! They're saying that the disease we had long ago has been running rampant again ever since that big earthquake. I thought our ancestors got rid of it once and for all. I can't understand why it's back. That sucks, man. I don't know what we can do to help, really, but we will. We'll go have a word with the mayor, but we're going to save that till next time, guys. I've no idea. I've completely lost track of how much footage I've actually recorded today, but this will have to do. Uh, thank you for watching.
Uh, we, I don't feel like we accomplished much today, but we got one quest done, and, and I guess we got a lot of leveling done, even though you didn't see that. But, uh, but please, leave a like if you've enjoyed this. Let me know if there's any quests or things or recipes that I should uh, possibly have a look at. And I'll, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.